What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today we have two massive things I want to go ahead and discuss with you guys. First and foremost, we have a ton of leaked information when it comes to the perks. I want to go ahead and cover them, eh, you know, see what they're all about, if they're actually worthy of being new perks, or if they're just reskins of the past, you know, going over all the details as we usually do. And also, there's been a brand new bundle added into the store as well that I have to go ahead and expose. It's just, it, it blows my mind, the stuff that's being added into Call of Duty. Honestly, we're going to start off with that right now. Let me go ahead and cut the gameplay. We'll put up this little bit of footage here ladies and gentlemen this is a brand new bundle that they're adding in the call of duty let me tell you the vibes are immaculate Ladies and gentlemen, I wish I could come to you right now and tell you that this is something that's been cropped or edited behind the scenes, but no. This is going to be in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I, I gotta be real. You know, I've never been one for anime when it comes to video games. I usually don't really buy into those bundles. I have nothing against them, though. I want to be honest. You know, if you enjoy anime bundles, then so be it. You know, I've seen tons of soldiers in real life have anime skins on their guns. Is it my preferred thing to have on mine? No, but again, I'm not here to judge nobody. But when it comes to voice lines like this, you got to be absolutely nuts to go ahead and scoop this up. This made me lose about 100 brain cells in the first two seconds of listening to what they had to say. And I can only imagine the person behind the booth right now doing the voiceovers. No offense, you just sound ridiculous. I, I don't even want to be mean because I understand a lot of animes have a little bit of, you know, over exaggerated voice lines, voice acting, but this is too much. Again, I've seen animes, I've watched some, I've had a lot of you guys suggest me some. I, trust me, this is not, <laughs> I don't know what this is, but seriously, like I said, you're going to lose brain cells. If you cough up money for this bundle, and I pray to God nobody does, but I know that there is indeed a 99.9% .9 chance that when I load up this game, when this bundle drops, I'm going to see these people everywhere. I'm going to be hearing this freaking NPC, whatever it is, watch, whatever, wherever the voices come from, all over the place. And I can tell you right now, I am not excited. It just... I, I, it's just ridiculous, but guys, th that's all I wanted to showcase for this one. Let's get into the leaked perks for Modern Warfare 3, but please do go down in the comment section, leave your opinions about how you feel about this bundle being introduced into Modern Warfare 2, if you like it, if you hate it, and give a reason for why. But let's get over to the leaks. First, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the gloves category, and then right afterwards, we'll follow it up with the boots. Again, I'm going to read them all off right away, and then we'll discuss them in more detail afterwards. But as you can see right here from Bob, he's been really reliable when it comes to all Model for 3 leaks. He states, here's all the gloves perk options in Model for 3. Assault gloves, while jumping, accuracy, and time to ADS is improved. Custom gloves, increased weapon swap speed. Scavenger gloves, resupply ammo and throw knives from dead players. Specialist gloves, throw equipment further, reset fuse timer on thrown back grenades. Tactical combat gloves, enable reloading while sprinting. And marksman gloves, reduced sway and flinch while ADS. Already right off the, you know, the bat here, I could tell that seriously Sledgehammer is catering this game to the rushing and more aggressive community. People who want to play OBJ, people who actually want to move around the map. This is not going to be your typical Infinity Ward project anymore where they're prioritizing the camper, the person who doesn't want to play that much. They would rather sit in the back of the map. These perks are 1,010% catered around movement. I mean, the assault gloves while jumping accuracy and time to ADS is improved. That sounds phenomenal. You know, custom gloves, increased weapon and swap speed. You know, all that stuff sounds really great. And, you know, it's going to add to the movement, the pacing of the overall game. And then up next is the boots. Here's all the boots perk options in Model Warfare 3. Canvas sneakers eliminates footstep noise. Stalker boots increase strafe and ADS movement speeds. Tactical pads increase slide distance and allows you full ADS while sliding. Increases stance transition speeds and crouched movement speed. Ultra light boots increase movement and swim speed, reduced noise while swimming. Running sneakers increased tack sprint duration and reduced refresh time. And then climbing boots, increased climbing and mantling speed, reduced fall damage. Now, again, like I said, just like with the gloves, all of these perks or boots, whatever you want to call them, gear, are catered towards movement. You know, like I just said, you know, the canvas sneakers eliminates footstep sound. We have dead silence back. Ninja. Perfect. Stalker boots increase strafe speeds. It's it's stalker from back in the day of Model Warfare 3. You know, they heard us complain that we can't move fast enough with the attachments on our weapon here. Have a perk that helps, you know, 
gets you something better out of that. And I do want to state that I am a tad bit worried that the attachments aren't going to be much better compared to Model for 2. I feel like they're still going to slow down your gun a lot. But again, this is an alternative, you know? So as long as they have an alternative and they're not just going to simply force us to play with the same horrifying system that we had in Model for 2, you know, that's A-OK. -okay. You know, ultra light boots, increased movement and swim speed. That's basically lightweight. Running sneakers increases tack sprint duration and reduced refresh time. So basically, if you like to tack sprint a lot, this is going to be, you know, your go-to. Climbing boots, you know, so on and so forth. All of these things are going to be beneficial. And I got to say, I'm liking what I'm seeing when it comes to the perk variety. Because not only are these perks catered towards movement and actually playing OBJ, but these perks are also catered towards counterplay. You want to pick and choose what you want to actually use. When it comes to Model for 2, I've been using the same perks since literally day one. I'm not even joking. I'm not lying. The same exact perks. There's literally, for me personally, no reason to run anything else. This, it seems like there will be a reason to run other things because each one of these perks has a pretty useful ability. And depending on the game mode that I'm going to play, whether, you know, it's a battle royale, team deathmatch, domination, search and destroy. No matter what the game mode is or whatever style of play is going to be there, I'm not going to run the same thing. You know, I literally run the same perks and the same everything for all my game modes. Team deathmatch, domination, hardpoint, search and destroy, drop zone, whatever it is. In fact, it doesn't matter. You know, I have the same classes. But in Model for 3, it seems that, you know, perk selection is going to be a little bit better. Some more variety, which will add to fun gameplay. It's one of the main things that made Call of Duty fun back in the day. We have variety with our classes. You go ahead and put together a class, you know, when perk 1 section, perk 2 section, and perk 3 section, there was a lot of choices, a lot of things that you had to pick and choose. And even moving further up in the timeline of Call of Duty games, you couldn't even think back to Ghost. That game wasn't really, you know, accepted across the Call of Duty community. But one thing that we can appreciate is the perk system in that game as well, because just like the rest of them, it added in variety. It had a play on the perk system that we you know, know and love. It's not the same thing. But it still had a pick and choose type of deal. You had a certain amount of points and some, you know, perks costed more points than others. So you had to pick and choose. You had to be able to build up a class with the amount of points that you have, which means you can't, you know, go all out and make something like a specialist bonus where you have everything. Uh, but you can fine tune it the way that you want to with some variety. And that is so crucial for Call of Duty gameplay. It's not even funny. It is one of the, the main things that helps Call of Duty live past its initial launch is having variety, allowing players to play the game in multiple different ways. And... You know, again, we can all hate on Call of Duty as much as we want. And you guys can call me out and say, oh, why are you being positive as much as you want? I don't care. I say it all the time on this channel. You know, if something is good, I'm going to say it's good. If something's bad, it's, I'm going to say it's bad. OK, you know, I'm not one sided when it comes to any of my viewpoints for anything. I try to cover everything across the board. And this right here is good. Right. There, there's no doubt in the world that this right here is good. But what blows my mind, the thought that I just simply can't fathom is why do, one, we have to wait for a whole nother game to get these changes, and two, where's the evidence anymore? You know, again, like I said, Infinity Ward continuously makes me lose brain cells on a regular day basis. It was already bad enough when the bundle dropped. But what kills my brain even more is the fact that they said all behind the scenes that they have statistics that, you know, this play style that Sledgehammer Games is putting together is wrong. What they are making is what people want. You know, no mini, I mean, do you guys remember back in Model for 2019 when they completely removed the minimap? Yes, that game didn't launch with the minimap, ladies and gentlemen. In the first beta, it had no minimap. We had to beg for them to get it to where it was, to where it was a minimap with teammates. They didn't even have teammates on the minimap. When they first introduced it after we complained, they put it in a minimap with no teammates or enemies, okay? We had to beg them three times. The third time, they finally added in a minimap where we had teammates on it, but still no red dots without a UAV in the sky. The point that I'm trying to make here is that they have stats, hard stats behind the scenes, that all of these things are bad. They suck for COD. Yet here we are with another title that Activision is indeed charging a full $70 price tag for, and they're doing everything that we have been asking for. Everything. All this time, we thought we were the minority. We thought that our voices were never going to be heard. We thought that, you know, what we said didn't mean anything because we're too small in the Call of Duty community. There's too many casuals out there then why is everything that we have been complaining about being answered now? You know, if we didn't matter, if our opinions didn't matter whatsoever, then what is going on here? And where are the stats now? You know, when we're 
finally getting this game? Where are the stats when Warzone 2 was dying and losing player accounts? Where were the stats when Modern Warfare 2 was losing player? You know, where are the stats for any of the stuff that proves that these changes were good for Call of Duty? No dead silence, you know, uh, no red dots on the minimap, all these horrible changes, the brand new perk system that they will refuse to remove out of the game. They just can't fathom the idea of taking out the perk system that they have in Modern Warfare 2. You know, where, where? Where's the evidence now? You know, again, they make me lose brain cells on a consistent basis, and it's just insane. But at the end of the day, I want you guys to give me your opinions down in the comment section on how you feel about these leaked perks. Do you think they're good? Do you think they're bad? Again, they're good, but they're basically perks that we got in, in the past. You know, it's not really anything to be too hype about too excited about i can acknowledge that it's good but i mean we're literally getting stuff like lightweight and stalker you know basically marathon with having you know a bunch of tax sprint that you can use <laughs> all these things you know scavenger it's it's our traditional perk system packed with gear now and basically giving us all the perks that we've been asking for that infinity would refuse to put in you know i don't know guys again leave your opinions down below but of course if you enjoy the video leave a like and if you hate it leave a dislike we do post here every day so if you enjoy this type of content and you want some more commentaries live gameplay comparisons of stuff like you know call of duty or x defined subscribe and hit that bell and last but not least we do stream pretty much every day besides sundays uh today is actually our last day on twitch we will be moving back to kick next week starting on monday but regardless you guys can find links to both those channels along with stuff like twitter and discord down in the description of this video but guys thanks so much for tuning in i'll see you on the next one Peace out.